Glimmer goes on to say, there are several other communities within Ardwolf. Each race has its own channel, Race Talk, and each guild has its own channel also. See Help Guild Channels for a list of those. The Helpers are a group of players who volunteer their time to help new explorers learn the game. See Help Helper for more information on Helpers. The Helpers have their own channel and their own hall. Builders are players who expand the world of Ardwarf by developing areas of their own for others to explore. They may also create quests of their own using the LUA scripting system. See Help Builders for more information on building in Ardwarf. Testers are players who volunteer their time to test new features on another copy of the world before it makes it to the live game. See Help Testers for more information. There are many other groups and communities in Ardwolf. Type help www to see a list of useful Ardwolf related pages and resources. This help file tells you what you need to type to use the channel. As a warrior, I use the War Drums channel, which seems quite appropriate. The other guild channels are also guild appropriate too. These channels are off by default so that a new player is not overwhelmed by having too many channels on. As you can see in the chat window at the top, I war drum, hello fellow warriors. The class channels can come in handy if you have a class specific question or just want to chat with your fellow guild members. You only have access to the channel of your primary class. When you remort, no matter the second class you choose, you can only ever use the guild channel of your first class. If you class change, then you have access to your new primary class channel, but not your old one. Those who carry the helper flag are chosen from volunteers to assist new players to Ardwolf. They do various tasks such as retrieve corpses for people who may have died in hard to reach areas or to aggressive mobs and to answer general questions. Although they can't give out puzzle solutions or take you to your quest target, they may give advice or directions to aid you in reaching an area. Helpers are here to aid new players in becoming self-reliant, thus they will often suggest hints or help files rather than giving a direct answer. Do not ask for direct help on quests or to just tell me the answer. This is not their purpose and will not help you once you have left Newbie Channel. Asking for spell ups on Newbie Talk Channel won't help either. Anyone on this channel that could give you more than a few spell ups is not allowed to do so. Similarly, if you have asked a helper for assistance in a corpse retrieval or some other matter and they ask you to do something, they are trying to help you. Please don't be suspicious if they ask you to make your corpse lootable or the like. Helper's ultimate goal is to provide you with the tools to make you successful in your Ardwolf adventures. If you like writing and have a story to tell that is original, you can create your very own area here on Ardwolf. Once you have enough experience, you can apply to create your own area and you will have access to all the tools you need on the test port. It is a slow process though. Sometimes it can take months to build your area, depending on how much time you are willing to spend on it. Building is also a great opportunity to experience the other side of Ardwolf, and you will meet like-minded players on the test port who can help you if you get stuck. Often players will pair up to build an area, one who is creative and one who is technical, so they can do the coding that helps to bring an area alive. Please note that currently, building applications are only open to experienced builders. Those who have a credited Ardwolf goal, area rewrite or an original area. People wishing to build an area but who lack experience may apply to IM on the personal board for a smaller project, goal and or stock area rewrite. Applicants should have enough experience with Ardwolf to understand the main concepts of levelling, equipment needs and goals. This usually would mean the player has reached at least level 200 and have completed goals in multiple level ranges. If you are interested, please take the time to read the help file in more detail. 
Almost all new Aardwolf areas, goals and code changes are put into a separate copy of the MUD for player volunteers to review and test before they are moved over to the main MUD. Testing is an extremely important role and helps keep the quality of Aardwolf high and bugs and crashes out of the game. Even players completely new to the game will try different commands in different ways. And their testing is valuable. If all you do is review new areas and goals for typos, then that is a big help too. Don't worry about being qualified. If you want to help, there will be a way to help. Nobody is under any obligation to sign up to be a tester. But one thing we do ask is that if you sign up to test, then do spend some time testing. There are many sites available to you outside of the MUD itself. Some of these are official sites which are maintained by Lasher, the architect of Ardwolf, and the Immortals, his staff. This is the official Ardwolf website. It has links to a lot of information and features on the left side of the screen in the menu. On the right side is a list of the newest features in the game, the latest feature being ranged combat. You can also see in the list that there are a few new areas, Ninewoods, Knoll's Quarry and Relinquished Tombs. Ardwolf is constantly growing and changing, which is what makes it such a popular game. At the bottom of the screen is a screenshot of the Ardwolf Mush client. It is laid out very differently to the way I have mine. This client is free to download and is set up specifically for Ardwolf. Ardwolf has its very own wiki, where players can find valuable information to help them. While Lasher and the Immortals try to keep the wiki up to date, the players can also add and change information to help keep it current. Clicking on the Areas menu on the left side of the screen, you will now see a listing of all the areas on Ardwolf. The Academy is on the top of this list and clicking on the name, you are directed to the information page. At the bottom you can see there are four links to clan maps. Clicking on one of the map links will bring you to a map of the area, which can be helpful if you get lost or stuck and can't find your way around. Some maps will even have useful information on it, like where you can find a key to a locked door. Take the time to check out the other links in this help file for more valuable information.